we've seen what happens if you add two oscillations of the same frequency. What happens if you add or subtract two oscillations of different frequencies? We're going to produce the famous distinctive wave within a wave shape, amplitude modulation. Why? Say you have cosine omega 1 t minus cosine omega 2 t for different frequencies omega 1 and omega 2. Recall the formulas for trigonometry for cosine of a sum or difference of angles. Basically, cos cos minus sine sine for a sum and two angles, and cos cos plus sine sine for a difference of two angles. If you subtract those two formulas, you get cos a plus b minus cos a minus b is minus 2 sine a sine b. Basically, the difference between that and what we have is a plus b is the omega 1t, and the a minus b is the omega 2t. You could solve that for a and b. A is omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2, basically the average of the two omegas. And B is omega 1 minus omega 2 over 2, basically the difference between either omega and the average. So if you substitute that A and B in there in our formula, so you get cosine omega 1 t minus cosine omega 2 t is negative 2 sine omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2 t sine omega 1 minus omega 2 over 2t. So a sum or a difference of sine or cosine waves you could handle it the same way. You might have a different sine sign in front of the product of the sine waves. Or you could have a product of cosine waves. You could express it either way. And the negative sign on the right hand side that's just an artificial distinction from the point of view of graphing. Let's look at an example where you graph two of these. So if I have cosine of 11x minus cosine of 12x, this gives the most pronounced example where the omega 1 and omega 2 are relatively close to each other. Cosine of omega, cosine of 11x minus cosine of 12x, the average is 11.5, and the distance from the average to either of these is 0.5. The 0.5, that's the large sine wave you see on the outside of these. That's a small frequency, long period. And the 11.5, that's rapid frequency. That's these rapid oscillations inside the sine envelope. If you think of the formula, sine of the average and sine of the distance from the average, 0 0.5 and 11.5. Throw in the minus 2 there to make the graph look the same. And I'll see this image. Here I've just added the outer envelope sine wave. So you can see the envelope outside these rapid oscillations. This is called amplitude modulation.